Hey guys, it's GED question of the daytime, and it looks like I've got another word problem, and the GED loves those things. So let's take a look. It says, Jackson has a bag of assorted marbles, 15 red marbles, 10 blue marbles, and 5 green marbles. What is the probability that if Jackson reaches into the bag and pulls out a marble at random, it will be blue? Let's take a look here. What are they asking me to find? You know, when you guys are going to take uh, interpret word problems, a lot of times y'all have no idea where to start. So that's where I always start. So what are they asking me to find? They're asking me to find the probability, that's like the likelihood, the chances, that if Jackson reaches into the bag, um, it will be blue. So basically the chances, they want the chances that his marble's blue. The chances that one marble will be blue. Well, I know it's going to be uh, random because I'm just reaching into the bag and pulling one out. So when you got to do probability problems, what you're basically going to always do is I think of this as wins over total. Basically, what would make me win here? What am I looking to do? What is Jackson looking to accomplish? He's looking to reach into his bag and pull out a blue marble. So how many blue marbles does the man have? The man has 10 blue marbles. So if he reaches in, there's he could pull out 10 blue marbles. And then I put a fraction bar here. It's wins over totals. You can read this fraction bar. I hate this color. Why am I using purple? It's hard to read, y'all. Let's try this one. There we go, 10 out of, okay. So um, this fraction bar we can read as out of. It's 10 out of how many possible choices? Yeah, 10 of them are winning, but not all of them are winning. So 10 out of how many are winning? Well, um, let's think of how many total marbles there are in the bag. If the man's got 10 blues, five greens, and I know there were more marbles there. What am I missing? He had five greens, ten blues. It's kind of like Dora the Explorer. Do you see the other number? D, 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 D. Okay, 15. <laughs> I'm loopy today, guys. <laughs> Maybe I should go home. So he's got ten blue, five green, and 15 red marbles. So how many total? That's what I'm looking for. I want to know how many total marbles are in his sack. Um, let's see. Let's add that up to find a total. Five and five gives me 10. Looks like the man's got 30 total marbles. So we got a 10 out of 30 shot. Now, I just want to warn you that even though this is a correct answer, 10 out of 30, this is true, this is right, this is good, but it is not finished. Let's say that again. This is true, okay? This is correct, but it's not finished. Mathematicians are expected to give all answers in a simplified form, meaning that they've basically cleaned up and done all the math that they can do. And right here, this fraction is not simplified because it is not reduced. It is not reduced. Good news is if you don't know how to reduce this fraction, your TI, a 30 XS, will do it. I'll explain that to you in a second. First, I'm going to reduce it by hand. I noticed that 10 and 30 have a common factor of 10. They're both divisible by 10. A fraction is not reduced if we still have common factors sticking around. And so I'm going to divide the 10 out of both of them. 10 divided by 10 is 1. 30 divided by 10 is 3. And now my fraction is reduced. I know for sure because I'm never going to get any lower than 1. I got that 1 going on there. There's no way to get any lower. So what's the probability that Jackson reaches into the bag and pulls out a blue marble? He's got a 1 in 3 shot. A 1 in 3 shot. 1 out of every 3 marbles here are blue. Okay, um, now if you wanted to reduce this in your TI 30 excess calculator or you didn't trust me or you don't have time to learn fractions before your GED test because you're in a hurry, here's how you can reduce fractions in your uh, calculator. First of all, please make sure that you're in math print mode. The classic mode is sketchy at best for doing fractions. I like to be in math print mode, so I hit mode. Then I go hover over the word math print and press enter so that it's selected. And then I get out of that screen by pressing clear. That's how I make sure I'm in the right mode. Now I type in the fraction 10 over 30 by typing 10. 
then typing the n over d, that's the fraction button, numerator over denominator, then 30, and then if you press enter, your calculator will automatically reduce fractions because it knows that all final fraction answers should be reduced, and you will get one third out of your calculator. Great. If you have any questions about this, be sure to drop them in the comments. I will see you for the next question of the day.